Dr. Toyland. Okay, so we're going to check out the G.I. Joe Classified 6-inch Bat figure from Hasbro. So I've been waiting for this figure since the, the launch of the line. And other than Shipwreck, this was my number one, you know, guy to get whenever he came out. So he got released. Yeah, it's a little difficult getting these at the moment. But, you know, I would like to think if you pre-ordered it, you'll probably get it at some point, hopefully soon. So there's that, right? So this figure, finally got my hands on it. And... Yeah, it, it lives up to expectations and the hype and the billing. And this is basically everything you'd want in the bat figure. And then some, I guess this is the best way to say it. I mean, it's such a cool throwback to the original figure, which is really what we all wanted. We didn't want any of this, this new fangled ones like they had in the in the G.I. Joe Blackout, well, Black Ops video, whatever it was called, the video game. We didn't want that one. But this is the color scheme we wanted. This is the look of the figure we wanted. And all the bells and whistles and all that fun stuff. So let's get into the, the nitty gritty of it, right? So um, as you can see, his chest, he's got all the, the gears in there. Like with the original one, had that little hologram piece. I like this. It's, uh, you know, it's a little different than the original, but I do like it. He comes with two little chest pieces that go over him. So this one is his flat black. I don't really like this all that much, but you know what? I, I get it because he's supposed to be, I guess, protecting all his all his internal workings, right? Yeah, this one is battle damaged, almost reminds me of that the He-Man battle damage figure, which is, you know, it's fun. Looks like he's been like shot up a little bit. He comes up with his regular head, and then he has this alternate one, which is all battle damaged and pretty cool. Now I wish they would do this with more of the other like uh like you know troop builder guys. Like some alternate faces, some of the characters where you you know see their eyes, maybe some different looking like you know, coloring the faces just to get some you know, variety in your, in your, uh, in your dudes, right? So this is pretty neat. All right. So here we got the, the hands and might I add that instead of one hand coming off, they actually both come off easily and you can put all these attachments onto either, either hand for this. We're just going to be using the right hand because that's what the original figure had, right? So this is the claw. And again, these hands go on super easy, nice and tight. They're not going to fall out. So yeah, you have your claw, you got your little flamethrower, you got your little laser pistol, whatever that is. Backpack comes off. It's uh you know, it's just not like a super hard plastic, but it's you know also not like super rubbery. So it's nice there. Everything fits in the back. You got a little a little hole in there. He also has, which is I thought was pretty cool, because in the original figure it's like molded onto his leg, but he's got this little it fits in there, little gun. So he can do some little, uh, if he doesn't feel like using his awesome hand attachments, he can always pick up his pistol and start pew-pewing people, right? So, you know, he moves uh, standard like every other G.I. Joe classified figure with the, you know, um, double hinged knees, double jointed elbows. Might I add, they're pinless, so you don't see them on the sides, which is really neat. Just really cool, really well done, really great attention to detail on this figure that everyone, again, has been waiting for. Not just myself, not just you, everybody has been waiting for these figures specifically. So good job. I look forward to everything else they're putting out from this point forward. I really think they're focusing on what we actually want rather than what they thought we wanted. So, all right, enjoy. Dr. Toyland.